Today we're talking about rate. Now, rate is a comparison between two quantities of different units. For example, 120, if I look at speed, 120 kilometers per hour. It's telling me the rate or the speed at which this person is traveling. I've got two different units. I've got kilometers and then I've got hours, so kilometers per hour. And this is why whenever you give your answer in rate, you must have the units included as well. So let's look at an example. So here we have an example of three liters of milk costing 50 rand. And then they ask me, well, how much would one liter of milk cost? Now, if three is costing 50, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my 50 and I'm going to divide that by three. And what's going to happen to that? The answer to that is going to be 16 rand and 67 cents. But do I leave it like that? No, it's going to be per liter. This part over here per liter is my rate because I'm saying for every liter of milk, it's going to cost me 16 rand 67. Let's look at another one. You're going to visit your friend in America and the dollar exchange rate is 17 rand 35. So 17 rand 35 to the US dollar. Now they ask us, how many dollars will you get if you are taking a thousand rand as spending money? Let's have a look. So again, my exchange rate is 17 rand 35 to the US dollar. And I've got a thousand rand that I want to take with me. So how many dollars am I going to have? What am I going to do? I'm going to take my thousand and I'm going to divide that by the 17.35. What's that going to give me? It's going to give me 57 dollars and I think around 64 cents. Now, can you see where my rate came in? With the exchange rate of rands to dollars. So in our final example, we now have Erin, who's earning 4,500 Rand per month. Okay, so for every month work. Now, when we look at months, we are looking at four weeks. Okay, so they say you're working, well, Erin is working eight hours per day, six days a week. So how much is Erin actually earning per hour? Well, all we really need to do is take our eight hours, multiply that by the number of days, and whatever that answer is, we are going to multiply by four because these are the number of hours, days, and then the weeks in a month. That should give us around 192 hours that she's working every single month. And what do we now need to do? We're simply going to take our 4,500 divide that by 192 and we end up with 23 rand 44 somewhere around there that she's actually earning for every single hour worked.